Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to get this Tear In My Heart by 21 Pilots inspired look. We're going to start with our basic face, so I use concealer and powder to make a blank canvas for myself. And we're ready to get started, so come on in closer. Then we're going to go in with a neutral colored shadow on our eyelid to make a nice base. Now we are kind of going for a fashion corpse look. So I'm going to take this light purple shadow and cover my entire upper eye socket. Because, you know, fashion corpse. You want the sunken eye look, but you want it to look, I don't know, fashionable. And then we're going to buff it out. Next I'm going to go in with this darker purple to make that sunken look that little bit more sunken. So I'm going to put it in my crease. Really try to sell home that I am a gorgeous, fresh corpse. A step. And again, buff it out. As you can see, we're getting more of that dead eye hot girl, dead eye fashion look. They're the same thing, right? Now we've been keeping our eyelid a little bit clear. We're gonna add a little bit of light purple shadow to that inner third inner corner area just to make it a little less dead, a little bit more fashion, but still kind of dead. Oh dear. So with that little Butterfinger moment, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and this didn't quite give me the color I wanted, so I added a little bit of concealer to give it more of a skin tone despite the corpse idea that we're going for. Oh, I am so sorry. I did not mean to just keep flipping you off. I promise this is not a personal moment from me to you. Anyway, let's move on. We're going to put some more dark purple in our crease area to accentuate that sunken look. Then we're going to go on with some highlighter and highlight our cheekbones because we want to be a glowing kind of corpse. You know, our sunken look wasn't quite enough, so we're going to go in with a little bit of an even darker purple just to make that section pop a little bit more. Now this is when, like every good YouTuber, my camera died. And so I will explain to you what happened in the interim. What I did was add some dark liquid liner to form a cat eye, as well as accentuate the tip of that cat eye with a red liquid liner. To tie everything together, I added a dark red lip and it kind of pulled everything together to make the perfect fashion corpse look that we're going for. And this is where we add our outfit. I added the red beanie that is signature to 21 Pilots, as well as the white muscle tank. I did not have this muscle tank, so I had to make it. So let me show you how. I cut off the sleeves, lining them up so that they would be as even as I could possibly make them, making sure to do that muscle tank top thing where it goes down to like the bottom of your rib cage. Next, I had to cut out the place for our hole in our heart. All I did was cut it and use my hands and some of the scissors when it got stuck to rip it open like someone shoved their fist through your chest to take out your heart. Excellent. To make this look really work, we're gonna add some tattoos. I'm sticking to Tyler Joseph's tattoos for this look, though only some of them, because Joshua Dunn has way too intricate of tattoos for me to really make work in the amount of time I have. We're really only trying to make the idea of 21 Pilot. I also highly recommend doing this in a big mirror where you can see, then you won't have the very uneven lines I ended up with and had to go back and fix later without the camera before I went and did the end. And it was hard to find an angle to properly show you what I was painting, but you get the idea. And now, much like Tyler Joseph does every single time, we're going to paint our entire neck area black. I'm using black body paint, not crease paint, but you understand. And now for the gore. The best part. 
I'm taking some just basic Halloween store blood and adding it into the hole where our heart is supposed to be. And I know this is not anatomically correct of where the heart is, but you know, I can't show boobs on YouTube and so we have to kind of fake it. You're going to paint the outside of the circle so that it stains the shirt because that way it looks like someone actually tore your heart out and wasn't concerned about making your white shirt dirty. Now the blood and the black body paint didn't really mix well together, but after adding some coagulated blood I also found at the Halloween store, it ended up looking okay, it ended up very juicy, and that's kind of what I was going for. Fresh wounds. Time to add a pair of black tights, some basketball shorts, and some sneakers to get our full 21 Pilots effect. The songs on the radio are okay. Smile, cut me further than I've ever been. 